So this is co-starring in a show part eight, okay? Or well, part eight. So we get unchanged. We hang the costumes up and we return the mics. Then the director comes in and tells us how how good the show really was, right? But first she told me that I did amazingly on open night, right? Our director, now I want Dan and Nathan in the comments to verify this. Let's, uh, Dan with, uh, with one and lots of zeros, or Mr. Ace 27 okay? Alright, um, yeah, so I want, I want Dan and Nathan to verify this. Our director is always brutally honest. It's all for the best, as we, we prefer to know if we look crap or truly brilliant, you know? So that was such a surreal feeling. And I, w I walk into this large room where we have our practices, right? And uh, this is where all the parents were after the show. I found my mum's mom, friend with my nan and her friend, and my mum's friend took me home. My godmother, I have no idea why she did this, right? But outside the theatre, she runs up to me and goes, Can I have your autograph? Because in the future I'll be a famous actor, she said. I hope she's right, but uh, not gonna lie, it was, it was a bit weird, but I, I, I loved the experience. So uh, I let it happen. I I didn't care, you know. I was I was too proud of myself because the show was over. Well, first night was over. So yeah, after that, I uh, went home and yeah, went to sleep. Second night or second show. Today I had chips and curry for dinner. Very unhealthy, I know. But the see, the show week it always is unhealthy, right? I get home from school, get dressed, get, get dressed, and go. Right? It's, yeah, we have to be that. Go home from school, get dressed, go. Stuff like that, okay? Eventually, yeah, no, oh, sorry. Before that, I uh, I had my fish and chips, so I carry in uh, chips, right? That was nice. I had them in our dressing room in the dark because uh, I was in the rehearsals half an hour before, uh, beforehand and, uh, yeah, before we, were supposed to be, before we were supposed to be there. And, uh, yeah, I had them in the dark and eventually, eventually people start turning up and we socialise, like the family that we are, okay? We all go on stage to practice our, you know, for the uh, vocal warm-up, okay? And I was told that I had to have my shoelaces done up because uh, last uh, last show they weren't, right? But it wasn't, it wasn't that much of a big deal, but I, I have a reputation for never having my shoelaces done. Anyway, we go into the dressing room and just socialise. 30 minutes before the show, we get dressed and, yeah, we were a lot more confident this time. This time it was my mum and two people that she works with were coming. I'd forgotten to take my watch, so I had no idea what the time was. And uh, suddenly, we get told to come onto the stage in this speaker in our dressing room. It's like, we have a room, and there's a box in the corner of the room. It's where the people from backstage can uh, can speak to you. Right, so yeah, we all take our places like last night, it goes well. No water on the stage this time, okay. Act one goes well. But one, but during one of, the, one of the scenes, I was too far back for the acting. I had a total uh, brain meltdown, but I managed to hide the fact that I was in the wrong place. The audience wouldn't know that because, uh, well, we just carried on, right? As long as you carry on, 99% of the time, the audience won't be able to tell something's wrong, unless they've been twice, you know? But yeah, so after that, I all go successfully. At the end of Act 1, I have to dance with this girl I've already mentioned, uh, Hope. I kept thinking on stage that if my mum saw it, she'd keep talking about it after the show. She hasn't, though. So, uh, yeah, it's not embarrassing or anything, okay? Y you know what it's like, you know? You go out places with your mates and, you and your mum goes, up, like, or someone goes, How is that girl you dance with? And all your friends will start taking the mic, you know? But anyway, uh, it was actually quite fun uh, doing the, the dance. We got the hang of it in the end, right? Anyway, we go off stage and I need to get the, the mic from Act 1 Jesus so I can put it on to become Act 2 Jesus. To put the mic on, I have to take my shirt and tie off. Put the wire through my shirt, took the black box into my trousers, threw up my shirt, and asked someone to put my tie back on. Because in our school we have clip-on ties, but the ties that we had for the show were not, right? I have about 20 to 25 minutes for the interval where we get changed. So it was fine, but I didn't want to be too late, so I was rushing it a bit. Sorry, Oliver, if I rushed you a bit too much during that, okay? So yeah, I kept asking people whether my tie, uh, collar, or shoes were decent. And lots of people said they were, so I was relieved. Then we get told to come on stage for Act 2. Still feeling more confident from yesterday's show. And I will carry on this in uh, co-starring in a show part 9. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Have a good day. Don't forget to join, follow my Instagram and join my Discord server. Goodbye.